Next one. Just 10 ideas, sir. Now, if you see here, this is the question. How many elements in the set? 1, double 1, triple 1, 4 ones are perfect square. Any perfect square is of the form 4 into something or 4 into something plus 1. Any perfect square will be of the form 4k or 4k plus 1. 4k, it is 4 into 2 plus 3. All the last two digits are 4 into 2 plus 3. So answer is, there is only one number which is a perfect square and that number it is 1. Rest are all the numbers. The divisibility rule of 4 is, last two digits should be divisible by 4. So, 4 twos are 8 plus 3, 4 twos are 8 plus 3. All are 4k plus 3. Easy question, if you know the logic. How many numbers are perfect squares? Any perfect square is of the form 4k or 4k plus 1. First property. What is the second property? A perfect square. A perfect square, unit digit, can never be a perfect square, unit digit, can never be 2, 3, 7 or 8, 2, 3, 7 or 8, a perfect square, a perfect square, last two digits will always be 25, if it is ending with 5, last two digits will be or you write down like this, sir. These are all, a lot of sessions we did it based upon this logic. So, I am not spending too much time. So, if the tens place, if the units place, if it is 5, if the units place, if it is 5, tens place will be 2. Tens place will be 2. Units place 5. Why? Because 35 square, 35 square is 35 into 35, odd 5 into odd 5, 25. If it is 65 square, even 5 into even 5, 25. Last two places, if it is a perfect square and the units place is 5, tens place is always 2. 15 square is 225, 25 square is 625. 35 square is 1225. Any perfect square ending with 5, tens place will always be 2. Tens place will always be 2. Now see here, we will use that logic. A perfect square never ends with 2, never ends with 3. A perfect square will always be of the form 4k or 4k plus 1. Last two digits will be 25. Again, how many elements in the set are perfect square? Only one. This question uses the fundamentals of perfect square, n equivalent to 3. Now, these are all very, very easy some exam model questions. What of what we will solve, sir? Find the last two digits for the following. 2, 3, 89 square. I want 89 square. 89 is 100 minus 11 square. What is the concept we discussed? x square, 100 minus x whole square, last two digits will be same, x square, 100 minus x whole square, last two digits will be same, last two digits will be same, so answer is 11 square, which is 121, easy question, we are discussing the exam model questions from a speed calculation. 542 square, only the last two digits we require, 42 square, which is 50 minus 8 square, last two digits will be 8 square, 8 square it is 64, 8 square it is 64, idea clear, 8 square it is 64, next one, 176 power 4, what is the logic we discussed, 76 power any natural number, 76 power any natural number, last two digits will be 76. 76 power, any natural number, last two digits will be 76. So, answer for this question is 76. Otherwise, you have to do 76 power 4. 76 square into 76 square. 76 square, last two digits will be equivalent to 24 square. Why? Because 76 is 100 minus 24 square. These 76, these 76. 76 divided by 100 minus 24 minus 24. 76. All these you don't need to do. 76 power any natural number. Last two digits will be 76. Last two digits will be 76. Now, this we discussed in the speed calculation class for the 
enrolled students what is that i discussed x cube and 50 plus x whole cube 50 plus x whole cube has the same last two digits 50 x cube 50 plus x whole cube has same last two digits if x is even only if x is even x cube 50 plus x whole cube they it will have same last two digits when x is even x cube 50 plus x whole cube they both will have the same last two digits if x is even sir why it will have the same last two digits last two digits last two digits of a number n it is the reminder when you divide a number by 100 if you divide a number by 100 you will get the last two digits of that number you will get the last two digits of that number 50 plus x whole cube if i open the bracket a cube next it is 3 a square b next it is 3 ab square and next it is b cube Next it is B cube. 50 plus X whole cube. Now you will understand it clearly. 50 cube. It is divisible by 100. 50 square. It is divisible by 100. X is even. Even number into 50. It is also divisible by 100. For it to be divisible by 100. X should be even. Which multiple of 50 I should, I should get divisible by 100? 50 into 2K. So, X will be 2K. 2K whole square will be 4 into something. 50 into 4, it is divisible by 100. I hope the idea it is clear. 50 cube divisible by 100. 50 square divisible by 100. 50 into even number, it is divisible by 100. Very, very important concept, sir. Most of the students will waste a lot of time. Even in the mock paper, it will be a half page solution. You don't need this. Directly by looking at a question, you will get the answer. 362 cube, it is 62 cube, it is 50 plus 12 cube. Is 12 even? Yes. So the last two digits will be equivalent to last two digits of 12 cube. Answer is 28. Answer for this question is 28. It's all about knowing the concepts. 62 cube, 62 cube is 50 plus 12 cube. X cube, 50 plus X cube. Last two digits will be same. 